Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see yet another example of a time to event related data set. So in this video, we will see the overall survival or time to death. So earlier we have seen uh, derived time to death in one of the videos, but in this video, the additional condition that we would be checking for is to create different values for censoring. In earlier case, we have created or assigned only a single value for censoring for the subjects who did not have the event. But here we will be assigning different values for the sensor variable for the subjects who did not have the event. So now let us move to the specification. So we have start date, param, param CD, ADT, sensor, eval and description. So when compared to a normal PDS data set, the variable star DT, sensor, and event description are specific to your ADTTE dataset or BDS TTE class. So let us see the derivation logic for each of these individual variables. So we have star DT, it says start set to TRTSDT. So we can use the information from ADSL TRTSDT to populate the star DT variable. And then we have param variable. It says create a parameter named time to death in days for all safety subjects present in ADSL. So we are being asked to check the eval variable for derivation logic. And then we have param CD. It says set to t to death when param is equal to time to death in days. And then we have ADT variable. It says for param is equal to time to death in days. So for subjects who died on the study who can be identified as ADSL death date not null and it has to be after treatment start date and populate using death rate for such subjects. So for the subjects who died while on the study for those subjects we are being asked to use uh, death date for ADT variable and for the subjects who did not die on the study which can be identified as having death rate as null. So for those subjects we are being asked to populate ADT with the value coming from EOSTT. And we have this variable called sensor in which again it says for param is equal to time to death in days for subjects who died on the study ADSL death rate not null and after treatment start date set to zero. For all the subjects who died on the study sensor variable is taking a value of zero and for the subjects who did not die on the study. So we earlier have directly used a single value for sensor variable. Now uh, the purpose of this example is to demonstrate that it is possible that we may have to use different values in censoring for the subjects who do not have event. So here we are assigning it to one when discontinuation reason for the study is completed the study. Otherwise if uh, study discontinuation reason is adverse event so we are being asked to set to two and for if it is last to follow up we are being asked to set the value of three. And if the if there is anything any other reason other than these things, we are grouping them under a value of four. So we are giving one explicit value for each of these three reasons, and all other reasons are clubbed with the value of four in sensor variable. And then we have eval variable. So wherein we calculate the duration from ADT to from start date to the ADT. So we are doing that using ADT minus star DT plus one. And then we have event description. The label says event or censoring description. Uh, for param is equal to time to death in days. So we are being asked to check whether the subject died or not. If the death happened, so we are being asked to set the value of death in event description. And then for the subjects who did not die on the study, so we are being asked to use the value from study discontinuation reason variable of ADSL. So we'll now move to the programming aspects on how to implement this specification to create the final output data set. So similar to the previous example, as we are uh, deriving time to death, all the information required for us is present in ADSL data set. So we'll be using ADSL data set as input to derive our time to death parameter. So on the right hand side of my screen, you can take a look at the ADSL data set that we will be using as input. So we were asked to create a record for each of the safety subjects present in ADSL data set if it notice. So where there is one subject who is not part of the safety set. So we will be creating 
uh, a record for all the other six safety subjects in our ADTT. So here I am filtering uh, for safety subjects from ADSL and creating a new data set called ADSL01. So this data set will only have records for safety subjects. Now I am using that data set as input and creating a data set called TTE01. And now for param cd we were asked to use t to death so we am assigning that text to the param cd variable and then for param so we were asked to populate it with the value as time to death in days and then for star dt so we were asked to use the value present in trts dt so we are using it and then we are deriving additional variables here based on the possibility of like whether a subject died on the study or did not so if the subject died on the study so we were said that they can be identified as having death rate not missing value so we are checking that case and then creating three variables ADT sensor and event description so for the subjects who died on the study ADT was supposed to be coming from death rate so I'm assigning it here and for those subjects, we were asked to populate the sensor value as zero. So we are doing that here. And then for the subjects who died, the event description was supposed to be populated with death. So I have done that here in these three lines of code by checking for the condition of death rate not is equal to missing or not is equal to null. And all the other subjects for whom death rate is null. So we had a different derivation for each of the three variables, ADT, event description, and sensor. So for the subjects who did not die, ADT was supposed to come from end of study date. So we are doing that here. And then for the event description, we were asked to populate it with the study discontinuation reason from DCS race variable of ADSL. So we are doing that here. And then for sensor variable, we were asked to check the values present in discontinuation study reason and give a different value for completed the study adverse event and last to follow up. So we are checking if the study discontinuation is reason, reason is completed the study and assigning a value of one to the sensor variable as per the specification. And then similarly, so we were asked to use two when the reason is adverse event and three when it is lost to follow up. On all the other cases, we were asked to populate it with four wherever the reason is not missing. So we are doing that here. And then we are creating our eval variable as ADT minus star DT plus one. So as we are doing a mathematical operation on date values, so we must ensure that both of them have non-missing values. So because difference can be calculated only when both of them have non-missing value. So we are checking that using NMIS function here. And then we are applying date 9 format to the newly created date variables star DT and ADT. And then finally I am keeping only the required variables and also ordering the variables in a logical order here. So let us take a look at our TTE02 data set. So we are expecting records for each of these six subjects and there are two subjects who has an who has an event so we should have two subjects with the value of zero in censoring and for all the other sub, uh, subjects censoring value should be a number greater than zero so let's see if that is the case so we have records for six safety subjects and we said there were there are supposed to be two records with sensor is equal to zero we have one record here and one record here on all the other records so we need to have a number greater than zero in the sensor variable as yes, that is the case here so and then we have eval values derived using adt minus star dt plus one so this is how we can derive time to event data set when we have to use different values for censoring variable thank you for watching and keep learning